Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's video.、Uh, in today's video, I'm going to give you a brief update about what I have been doing lately about、uh, photosynthetic bacteria (PSB). Now, in the、uh, last video, I've used those glass bottle to do the Winograski column, right? Well, the bottles were fine. The colonies were pretty. So yeah, bottles were fine. But it is also very、uh, inconvenient to do since bottles were tall, huge, and quite heavy. Especially when you want to、uh, take the bacteria out from the column because the bottle is like too tall. No. So、uh, I've been thinking about if there's any way that's better to take the bacteria out. So what I come up with is if I have a a container that can be open at the front, not at the top. So I think it would be easy to take the bacteria out because, you know, I can just open the front and take the bacteria. So I come up with. Uh, stuff like this, and this is basically a a box, a plastic box you use in kitchen. Yeah, it's it's a kitchenware you use to preserve food, something like that. I I just use it in、uh, vertically, and doing the same thing as the、uh, basically a Winograski column inside this container. So here you you can see the bacteria. Is growing quite、uh, successful. So right now, I will try to open the box and take the bacteria out and put them into different type of、uh, growth medium. Here, I have several different type of growth medium.、Uh, the very common egg one, and also I have tried some recipe with.、Uh, Some common beverages got from the convenience store, and some common fertilizer for you know a home garden, something like that. And I open the box,、uh, take some of the bacteria, which is at the red layer of the column, and quickly put them into the growth medium, and see what will happen. So. Uh, after a few months, well, what's the result? The result is、uh, they they all fail. So none of the growth medium actually come up with、uh, as what I expected. But I I don't think it is a problem with the growth medium. I think it is a problem with、uh, oxygen. Simply to say, when I open the box, the bacteria grows. Inside the box, get into contact with oxygen, so the bacteria just die. And if you have like bacteria already die, it is、uh, quite normal that you couldn't like culture anything out of it. So for the boxing, well, right now it's kind of fail this time. Although I do have、uh, equipment in the office that is specially like designed to handle.、Uh, Anaerobic、uh, environment for those kind of bacteria, and I can try to、uh, open the box inside to take the bacteria. But I think it's quite pointless if I use、uh, such a special、uh, equipment. I mean, use special equipment on this channel. So、uh, I'm thinking that maybe I still have to use a bottle. Right, for culturing. So this time I'm trying the bottle using a smaller bottle, which is well, still it is a kitchenware. It is a plastic bottle, which yes, you use to、uh, put your food in. And I open the two holes on the lid of the bottle. One is the larger hole, one is the smaller one. The larger hole, I plan to use it to putting stuff in or out. You know, the larger hole is for、uh, when I want to trying to take the bacteria out. I will use 
this larger hole. And the smaller hole, I decided to uh, put in the nu nutrient into the, the bottle. I designed it to do something like that, although, well, I do not know if it works or not. I haven't tested it yet. So, the whole bottle, the preparation is the same as before, the Winograski column. It's just this time, I wrap the part of the button, so the light will not penetrate it. So the very button of the bottle, okay, I wrap it around with foil paper and tapes, so the light cannot penetrate it. That will be the layer which, in the future, I plan to add nutrient directly to those that layer. And this time the bacteria grow quite fast. Uh, it's about like a week and I can already see see the bacteria. I mean the color with my naked eye. So this layers of layers of color. It, it's like a like a huge apartment and the bacteria, different bacteria is like the resident in that apartment. At the very bottom of the this apartment, where the layer that light cannot penetrate, uh, there are bacteria that lives there. What they do is that they break down the organic matters, the nutrient I put inside the the mud at first at the beginning. I mean the egg and some other like organic material. They break down those material for their needs and in the process, especially when they break down proteins, they will generate a lot of other chemical compounds. One of it is the hydrogen sulfide. So this hydrogen sulfide, after they generate it, will move upward and the, let the bacteria that live above this level can be used as their nutrient which is the red layer here. Oh, the red layer is mostly uh, mostly like photosynthetic bacteria, which is the purple sulfur bacteria. So you can see all the red layer. And sometimes, or most of the time, you can also see there is a green layer at the almost the same level, which will be the green sulfur bacteria. Now these two type of uh, sulfur bacteria, they have a quite a high tolerance to hydrogen sulfide. And that is why they can live at here in this level, which has quite a high level of hydrogen sulfide and a very, very low level of oxygen. Because those bacteria, they are quite sensitive to oxygen. So, and that's also the reason why I think the the previously box method had failed because when I open the box, uh, the bacteria gets into contact with oxygen, and which the oxygen inside our atmosphere is has an extremely higher concentration, like at least it's 200 times higher than the oxygen level at that position. So. The bacteria just get into contact with uh, extreme amount of oxygen, so they die instantly. So that is why I think the previous box method had failed. Now above this red layer, here you can see it is still the color of the mud, and at this layer, the oxygen level is still quite low, and the sulfide level is quite high. Uh, what kind of bacteria live in this layer is mostly a uh, still bacteria that use a uh, reduction reaction. Like in this layer, you will have a lot of sulfate or a lot of uh, rust, which is an oxidation form of iron, which is rust. And here, bacteria can reduce those elements in order to generate uh, energy for their growth. So here are the bacteria that live in this layer. Now above that you can see there is a orange layer, the, the rust layer, what we called. And here the oxygen level is uh, much higher. So what you see the bacteria lives in this layer is mostly they can uh, they begin to use oxygen 
to oxidize material to gain energy, and also the what I have introduced at the last video, the non-sulfur bacteria sometimes or most of the times appears at this level. Uh, non-sulfur bacteria, some of them can grow in the uh, oxygen level, not at very high oxygen level. Okay, they can they have some kind of tolerance to oxygen, although not a lot. But some of the species can still grow. Okay, if oxygen exists. So in this layer is kind of uh, all mixed together, all kinds of uh, bacteria. Above that, you can see it's basically green. Those green would be algae and cyanobacteria, which are both creatures or organism that is very good at producing oxygen. So the oxygen level at this green uh, layer or even the waters above the mud actually has quite a higher concentration of oxygen. So in the future, I will also try to well, try to raise something in this in this area, I guess. And according to my previous experience, the area that has higher oxygen level will grow. I mean, it will become larger. Okay, enlarge because of the nutrient that at the bottom of the column slowly depleted. So if the nutrient at the bottom depleted, then the supply of hydrogen sulfide will also will decrease. And then once the hydrogen sulfide decrease, cyanobacteria or algae can grow downward. Okay, they will just grow more and when they grow to other part of the column, they will start, you know, producing a lot of oxygen. So to my previous uh, experience, this red layer will become like smaller and smaller and then kind of disappear. So that is why I designed this small hole to trying to add new nutrient to the button. I put a column all the way to the bottom of the bottle. So in the future, I will try to maybe inject some like nutrient stuff through this small hole. Although I don't know if it will really work because I haven't tested it yet. Okay, so what I'm about to do in the future is I brought some uh, like very long needle uh, from the internet. Uh, what I'm going to do in the future is to use those needles to uh, suck the bacteria from each layer suck them out some of them and put into a different growth medium to see if i can successfully make a liquid culture of different type of bacteria but uh, yeah, that part i haven't got any result yet and um, i will make a video about it once i have the result so uh, here is the uh, oldest stuff I want to say in today's video. It's just a brief update about what I have been doing lately. So that's all for today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.